Was I going to Alabama? Well, the answer was simple. I'm not going to, so quit asking. People ask me, am I going to UCF? My answer was, no, 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 no. Well, what about Memphis? I thought about it. What about Ohio State? I thought about it. My answer was simple. Hell no. Now, in the college football world, everyone knew who my grandfather was, especially my father. Now, for me, I had to go out there and make a name for myself. Now, even though I, I decided to come to Charlotte and turn down a lot of these offers from big schools, I feel like this school was the right choice for me, playing quarterback position. Even though a lot of my receivers didn't really help me out in my first favorite college football practice, but it just felt right, man. I, I got sacked a lot, but one thing I could do, and the coaches seen that first thing, even my teammates, man. I turned on the Jets, and I was down the sideline. Even though the practice wasn't turned out the way I expected, I had an uphill battle, and I was definitely ready for the challenge. After my first very college practice, things didn't go the way I expected. Things were a lot faster, quicker. So hours after practice, I decided to work out with my receiver to get that better chemistry. And I feel like once we get that chemistry down with each other, we was going to be unstoppable. I will get more reps. Hell, might be even be the QB1, but it all starts with that chemistry. And let's just say that next practice, it was on. the second practice, a coach decided, let's give this kid a chance. Hell, we was already getting blown out 49-6. to six. And let's just say my very first snap of my college career, it kind of turned out, all right, as I picked up one yard, second and nine, we had Spencer who picks up seven yards. They're going to bring up a third and two. The pressure is on, and we throw our first interception. Let's just say I wasn't ready. We finished the game with six pass yards and one interception. Not good, I know, but the seats in finale, we sitting at three and eight, old and seven conference, get the team that pretty much wanted me just as bad as Charlotte. So the coach said, hell, why not? Seats finale against Memphis. We're going to get this kid a shot at first and 10, and we throw off, well, I thought we'd established that chemistry already, but obviously we didn't. But second and 10, we throw it out to Beard, our first completion of the season finale that picks up seven that's gonna bring up a second and four all kinds of time we gonna use our legs no we gonna stop and we gonna hit thompson who picks up 17 and they first down now, i feel good about a couple of plays i've been making so far that's gonna bring up a second 11 trying to force the pass and that pass to get intercepted our second interception of the season and they turn it to seven points Coach decided to give us a little simple little plays to get our confidence back and we hit spencer who picks up 15 on the play second and seven we can do it. I feel like this is the only chance that I'm going to get to prove myself that I belong at the next level. And we use our legs and we pick up 15 in a first down as we continue to just believe in ourselves. <laughs> as we throw a pass to the Bulls, the red shirt, seeing who picks up 13, first and 10. All kinds of time. We dump it off to Spencer, who picks up a handful of yards. That's going to bring up a second and two, first and 10. And we throwing it deep to Tucker and Tucker with a huge gain of 39 on the plate. What a way to develop that confidence. First and 10, and we, and we are throwing it deep to Thompson, who tips, holds, and catches it. 22-yard touchdown pass, our first passing touchdown of our young career. You love to say that we tied things up first and 10, a dig route to the boast. The Red Sox seeing it definitely showing off why he's the leader of the receiving core. But second and eight. All kinds of time, the pressure is upon us, and we're going to use our legs as he's off this accent, get what we can. We pick up 13 in the first down. Big headache for the defense when you have a quarterback they can throw and run. As we hit Spencer across the middle, he picks up a first down, first and 10. We'll get a little bit more comfortable with the play call as do both. They are developing that chemistry. He picks up 17, handing out to Beard, and Beard trucks his way for 11 yards. We in striking territory, third and goal. We get it all to the man that got us down there, Beard, who punches it in. But the defense cannot get a stop. And we shake off a sack and we throw it to Spencer. Turn a second to a five-yard game. We will take it. 
But first and 10, we do a little dump down to the receiver, and he picks up more than I thought. He picks up six. That's going to bring up a third, second and four. Thompson, nice pass, nice catch, pick up five yards to get out of bounds. We got 25 seconds left, two timeouts. We are looking good. Same old play caller. If it turned into positive yards like that, the same old play, we will keep taking it as long as we move it forward. But second and 10, using our list to skip outside the pocket, we throw to Thompson, who caught the touchdown earlier, who hit us in field goal position, and we get three right before halftime. First and goal, let's try to extend this lead. As we run out to our strong side, I don't know what that defender is doing, trying to shake our way into the end zone. But we did not get quite there. Beard who punched it in for his second wrestling touchdown on the game. We up by three, 24 to 21. We throw it to the boats. The confident senior. Let's check out the penalty. And that penalty comes on Victor Tucker, who got called for clipping. Let's take a look at this. And, bro, that definitely was clipping. It ain't no way to hide that. But third and fourth screen pass to Beard. And Beard do not pick up the first down. You can see the frustration for your boy Trey. As they capitalize, we are down by four. We just gonna dump it off to DeBose, the guy that's trustworthy. He picks up a first down, second and two. All kinds of time. We throw it to DeBose again. Let's go. If we continue to manage and make the right play calls, we definitely can't walk away with our first victory of our college career. As Campbell hit Thompson, but he drops a pass. Definitely got to work on the hand. Second and 20, we'll get Tucker on a dig wrong. He breaks one tackle. He is down the sideline. Picking up them yak yards. He picks up 41 as we are in striking territory. First and goal. Campbell decides to run it in. And we have the lead late in the game. No boys are excited, man. We up by 328 to 31. Thompson. He picks up a handful. He picks up seven. That same route, man, that same spot just keep being open. We just going to keep continue to take it as the Bulls who picks up 11. That chemistry is there already, man. I wish he can stay another couple years, but he's on his way out. But we up by 10. <sighs> Ask you, man, the holding. As you can see, they, they, they went down and scored. But we going on and take this kneel down, man. We going to go ahead and take our very first victory. Of our young college career as we finish this season four to eight, not as what we expected coming to our freshman season. Well, I thought we was expected to come right out the gate being a guy, but nothing is given, everything is earned, man. We're gonna get it out the mud, and that's the way Trey wants it to be, man. Just because his grandfather and his father, you know, was legendary in the college football world, he had to develop his name into being a you know a legend. So and it, it all starts by, you know, getting out the mud, man. But this first win definitely will, you know, make the team better moving forward. As you can see, 330 through the air. One passing touchdown, and one rushing touchdown. But we're going to go ahead and move to the second season, man. Y'all let me know how his season turned out so far. Definitely not what we expect to start off season two is that we get thumped 38 to 14 by BYU. As we start the season 0-1, heading to game number two against FCS. And I guess this could be one. We did not start off with QB1, but I don't know if he's injured or what, but we're going to make the most of the every opportunity as we turn. It looks to be a broken play into a huge gain. That's what your boy Trey can do first and 10. And we're going to make the most of every opportunity that we get as Clemens. I thought we developed that chemistry, but obviously not. I guess we're going to have to spend some more time in the gym, man. As we hit Mac in the flats right there, he picks up seven. All right, second and 10. The whole left side. That's a quarterback. It's like, like just hooray, man. Like, really. Especially a cramming, scrambling quarterback. We pick up 27 on that, on that last play. First and goal in Walters. I don't have to see it. I thought the chemistry was there, but Walters made up for that drop pass, man. He gets the first passing touchdown from your boy Trey on the season. Second and six. We up 27 to nothing. Just a little dunk down to Clemens, man. Just because he dropped one pass, we're going to keep feeding our teammates, man. That's how you develop that chemistry and that trust. First and 10, we hit Beard out of the backfield. He nearly picks up. He do pick up a first down. Second and inches. As we continue to roll outside the pocket, we're going to use our legs to pick up what we can, get out of bounds. We pick up four to keep the drive alive. First and 10. Year number two, y'all let me know, man. 
even though he's not QB1, as rightfully, I think he should. As Pat picks up 20, you know, nothing is given, man. We don't, we want every, we want to grind and, and work and earn it. You know what I mean? So heading to year two, everything seemed to be, you know, his for the taking. You know what I mean? You know, they got a senior ahead of him. If he outplays him, which I believe he, I know he will. <laughs> and the coaches that just going to hand trade the keys, man, and say, here, this is your team. You know what I mean? You're the face of the program. And Spears spins his way out of one tackle. And he's in the end zone, three yard touchdown run. We up 34 to nothing. Even though this is a less opponent, you know, SCS, as Clemens picks up 17, we definitely don't want to take no team lightly. Even though we are just not a high power team, we just not going to take no team lightly. As Walters, who makes the catch and picks up 26 on the play. Like I said, here in the year two, big expectations. Year one, you know, didn't go the way this trade planted to go. You know what I mean? We got one game, you know, the season finale, which he turned out to be phenomenal, man. You know what I mean? But handed to year two, big things are are expected. As we hit <laughs> Walters again, a huge gain on the plate. Right here, this is just not taught, man. This is God-given ability right here. I mean, it really is. Certain things you just cannot teach. You either you got it or you don't. I guess his kid inherited his grandfather traits, his definitely his father traits. And hey, what huge run by McKeeger, man. That that run by, you know, Trey sparked something on his team, man. We hit Patton across the middle. He picks up 10 second and go. We see the fullback creeping out of the backfield. Hester, and he gets another passing touchdown. We end up thumping these boys, man. 69 to nothing. Even like I said, it's an FCS opponent, but you don't want to take no team lightly, not at all. Should this kid be QB1? Rightfully, yes. The two starts that he got, he's shown and proven that he is. It's up to the coaching staff whether they pull the trigger or, you know, remain, you know, the red shirt senior, the guy. But this kid is just phenomenal, man. 227, 145, four passing touchdowns and one Rushing touchdown, man. Just go ahead, coach. Just go ahead and get his kid the keys, man. It's his team's for the taking. I mean, we got NCAA Player of the Week, honest, man. But y'all let me know, man. The first season to the second season. This your boy, CRE, and I'm going. I want to salute every nigga who run with me. And it's a secret everything that you done with me. Because it's a couple niggas that practice loyalty. Family.